A lot has changed since you guys have last seen me flip the pancake. I've evolved into something more. Spatula? I don't need this. Alright, here we go. Oh, sh sh come on, man. Damn! I quit! Oh my gosh. I was gonna try and get this for YouTube, but I failed. Honestly, I've done this a couple times, and it was awesome. I don't know why I messed up this time. Damn. Uh, look, I know I messed up the flip, but let me show you guys the finished product. Look how beautiful this looks, man. So we got some Kodiak protein pancakes. We have strawberries. I think it's uh, raspberries, cherries, and whipped cream with, oh, and also blueberries. And we have egg whites, so. I messed up the flip, it's all good, things happen, it, it comes and goes, man, whatever, whatever. But, let's just get today started. Okay guys, we're in Town Center in Sugarland, and I just went to Starbucks and got a green tea frap. Bruh. This is amazing. I'm not a person that goes to Starbucks and get, you know, drinks like that. I don't know what like a skinny latte is. I don't know what a wait, I don't even know the lingo here, but it's like I just I'm like, yo, do you have a green tea? I'm like, yeah, we have a green tea frap. Try tried it. It's like the best green tea I've ever had. But let me tell you guys the plan for today. All right, it is March 1st, and I leave for Ohio tomorrow. So I'm going to the Arnold tomorrow on Thursday. I'm going to be arriving around 2 p.m. And the goals for today is to get a workout, get a haircut, and also go to the mall to try to search for something that I can wear. Maybe, like, I don't know, just go to the mall and see if I can add anything to my, my suitcase for tomorrow. But, yeah. Also going to get a workout and show you guys a couple of tricep exercises that I utilize in order to develop my triceps. But... I'm, I just, I'm blown away by this green tea. Like, it, it tastes really, really good. I'm pleasantly surprised. Also, I want to talk about the pancake flip that I had early this morning. Damn! I quit! So, normally, I've been flipping my pancakes without the spatula. Like, I've been doing it, like, no hands or whatever. And, uh, you know, this time I messed up. But what I will say is that the end result still tasted good. It still came out amazing. So... I might go back tonight and redeem myself. Like, there's gonna be some redemption tonight. I'm so angry about that, man. That sucks. <laughs> All right, so right now we're on the way to the mall. My haircut is at 1.30. It's currently 12.35, so I'm just going to the mall once again to just kind of see if I can pick up anything worth putting in my luggage bag tonight. I need some new camo joggers because the joggers I currently had uh, the current the joggers that I currently have are like all torn up in the crotch area, so I'm gonna have to see if I can go to PacSun or maybe even uh, Zoomy to see if they have any cool com uh, camo joggers. And then after that, we're gonna go to the get a haircut. <laughs> so I need a fade, and then after that, we're gonna go to the gym, get a push workout in triceps and shoulders, maybe even chest too. I had a push day like on Monday, and it was just really bad. But yeah, first Colony Mall somewhere over here in this area. Yo, so we're at Paxson right now. Like, if you guys are wondering, that's where I get a majority of my clothes. Like, the jeans that constantly fit me, or the jeans that, like, fit and they look kind of aesthetic on me, so I have bigger legs. I get it from Paxson, but look at these dope, like, kind of, like, droop, um, scoop tanks, man. And they're kind of cut up and distressed a little bit, so you got holes in here. But I'm definitely getting one of these. I think a large would be straight. And then I'm going to get one of these cool tanks over here. 
With the gray one, right? Yeah. I think I'll watch you. I honestly don't want to go back and put it on. But, yeah, it should be straight. So we got the, it's like concrete gray or something. And then, steel. Yeah, that's dope. Okay, so we're here at Zoomies and I got some camo joggers. These look really, really cool. Like I like the fit on them, and they're pretty stretchy as well. Like I was kind of skeptical about skeptical about getting them, but I think I'm actually gonna go with them. So this is the fit curling on the legs. It's a 32 in this size. So once again, we're at Zoomies. Look how dope these are, man. I really like these. Yeah, I'm going with them. It's always exciting to find bottoms that fit because as a short and stocky person, it's really hard to find things that look aesthetic on your legs. So these are really cool. I'm really, really feeling these, man. And look, at, look, at the, look at the mobility. Look at that, bam. Whew, look at that. Good. Look at this guy. Look at those <laughs> arms. Wow. Have you ever seen arms like this? What's up, Mr. You? What's up, Russ? Yeah, my bad, man. It's all good, man. Ball fade again? Yeah. That's that ninja smoke. <laughs> Now here come that fire. <laughs> the alcohol. We separate the little men from the big boys. <laughs> or should I say the little boys from the big men? Which one are you, Russell? That's true. Are you a big man? I'm used to You're it. You're not going to cry? Nah. You're not going to holler? Nah. You're not going to scream? <laughs> well, it's fire. <laughs> ice. All right. All right, man. Yeah, y'all bring it on ice. Bring it cold. Take care, Take, care. Take care, man. Good luck this weekend. All right, appreciate Bye. it. Honestly, a fresh fade is the quickest way to ensure that you're going to have a good workout. It's better than any caffeinated beverages you might have. It's better than any pre-workout you might take. I'm telling you, a fresh fade is the best way to ensure that you're going to have a great workout. And since I got this fresh fade, we are now heading on to the gym right now to crush a push workout. Oh, I feel good. I break it I feel down, so it lifts me up. So much shining, so much diamonds. All that there come from so much grinding. Okay, guys, as promised, I'm gonna be going through three of my favorite tricep exercises. But first, let me show you all the fit, man. Look at these. These are the camo joggers I just bought, man. They fit nice and they fit nice and snug. Look at this. Hold on. Let me show you the range of motion. Look at that. You can't do this in, in jeans, man. Look at that. Full range of motion. Got the socks on. I'm actually kind of disappointed in my sock choice today. I chose shoes, uh, sushi socks and some like weird generic looking socks, whatever. But yeah, I also got the the tank, I guess, like the cut up tank or whatever. Looks nice, man. I feel I feel good today. But uh, all right. So I'm gonna go through some of my favorite tricep exercises. And the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is close grip bench press. Now this is like the king of all tricep movements in my opinion because you're able to load up the bench, if you're, able, you're able to load up the weight and it's like the heaviest you could go on tricep. Uh, whenever it comes to working out your triceps, this is the heaviest you could go. So I'm gonna show you guys how to execute it. It's very sim it's very similar to bench. One thing that's a little bit different is the grip placement or your hand placement whenever you're benching it. So what you're gonna notice here is that I'm not utilizing my power lifting competition style type of bench uh, or arch, right? I have to make sure I'm getting a longer range of motion because that's gonna help me build the most muscle possible. If I'm getting a big arch, like it's gonna shorten my range of motion. And I'm not going to be getting the most as I can out of the bench press. So I'm going to show you guys. Of course, my scapula is going to be retracted, but it's not going to be as uh, a pronounced arch. So you kind of want to grip the bar a little bit within close, uh, like within shoulder, uh, shoulder length or shoulder width, excuse me, or maybe even closer. I have to go a little bit closer just because naturally I'm a kind of a close grip bencher. So I have to move it all the way almost to right here. Almost to like the, almost the center, man. It's kind of weird. But here we go. Unrack. Check the scapula, and it's just gonna, you're just gonna execute it just like you would a normal bench. Now, if you guys notice, I kind of stop like right here, right? I don't lock out all the way, and there's a reason for that. Uh, the reason I know a lot of people say like you should lock out at the very top, but hold that lockout for maybe half a second. I'm a little, I'm a little bit different because I'm a power lifter, right? I ha I handle heavy loads. I handle heavy loads. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. I handle, I handle a lot of heavy weight, right? So 
I'm already putting a lot of tension on my joints. So whenever I do bodybuilding movements and I'm focusing more on building muscle, I try not to lock out because that's just gonna be more pressure on my joints that's unneeded. So, I mean like you can get a slight lockout, that's perfectly fine, but for me in particular, I know my body and my, my joints are kinda like already getting beat up whenever I'm powerlifting. So I tend to kinda come right here, right close, like maybe like half an inch to lockout, stop, and drop the weight back down. So I'm gonna show you guys what a lockout looks like and I'm gonna show you guys what I do whenever I'm kinda not really locking out. But that's still gonna keep tension on the muscle. So come back here again. And sometimes I like to switch it up, like I'll keep my feet up on the bench, just so I don't, so, so like it makes it harder for myself with my triceps. All right, so this is me locking out all the way. And then this is me kind of getting like a, like right towards the lockout point, but I'm not locking out. So once again, guys, I started off with the king of tricep movements because I believe that close grip bench is the king of tricep movements once again. And it's just, you can control the intensity. Like if I wanted to go 275 pounds, I could do that because my triceps can handle that. And this is the best exercise in terms of being able to go as heavy as you possibly can. Once again, if you're handling heavier weights, that's gonna put a lot more damage on your muscles. So like, you know, it's fine to do other movements. Like that's good too. But honestly, I like to always start off my tricep workouts with close grip bench press. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you another tricep movement. So, as you guys can see, right here is the long head of your tricep. So I think a lot of people make a mistake of not working out their long head tricep. So like, if you guys hold out your arm, it's going to be like that fatty, meaty portion that kind of hangs. But I'm going to show you guys a movement that is going to work out the long head, or put it more of an emphasis on the long head of your tricep. Now what we're going to be doing is going to be some overhead, a dumbbell overhead tricep extensions. I like to call it French curls, just because dumbbell overhead tricep extension is kind of like a mouthful. So. I'm using 75 pounds right here, but this is actually, I would say this is actually my favorite tricep movement just because I can go really, really heavy on it. I can, I can do like 120s for reps of, like for sets of like maybe 12 to 15 reps and I love it. But let's go through how to execute this movement. So what you need to focus on whenever you're doing the overhead dumbbell tricep extension is that you need to make sure that you're getting a full stretch out of the movement. So we're not gonna come here and do this, right? That's not getting a full stretch. What you wanna do is come all the way down and make sure your forearms, forearms are kinda of like kissing your biceps. So make sure your forearms are kissing your biceps. Kinda of like that. And then come out and go to full extension. I mean, well, not for me, at least, I'm not getting a full extension. I'ma stop right before the full extension leg, which is right, right here for me. But once again, we don't want this, right? My, my forearms are not like hugging my biceps as much as they possibly can. So what we want, full stretch. Because if you, if you come right here, you're not getting the full range of motion, and you're not stretching out the long head of the tricep. You want to make sure you're coming all the way down and allowing your long head to stretch all the way and then coming back down, I mean coming back up. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in full speed. All right. Once again, guys, it's gonna be working the long head of your, it's gonna be lock, working the long head of your triceps. So that's gonna be that fat, meaty portion that kind of hangs when you hold your arm up like that. I like a chicken wing. <laughs>
All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the last tricep movement, but it's gonna be kind of like a superset. So what we're gonna do is gonna be some underhand cable tricep extensions, and we're gonna superset that with some normal single arm tricep extensions. So what I like to do on this movement is, like this is an old bodybuilding tip, but like usually you have a training partner whenever you're bodybuilding and they'll have you touch, they'll, have, they'll be touching the muscle that you're working, right? But since this is a single arm tricep movement, I'm gonna have a free hand. So what, what I'm gonna be doing is as I'm doing the movement, I'm kind of touching my tricep, just to kind of make that mind to muscle connection. So we're gonna do 10 reps for the underhand tricep extension. Then after that, we're gonna to switch to overhand tricep extension and we're gonna do another 10 reps. So it's gonna be 20 reps total. We're just gonna say that was 10 reps. I don't know how many that was. What was that like? I have no idea. The way I'm gonna do the overhand tricep extension is gonna be just like, I'm gonna grab, I'm not gonna use this anymore, but I'm gonna grab this, kinda like a hammer, uh, have my hands neutral. Okay, I just pull straight down like that. Now notice I'm not just like repping it out like this, I'm kinda holding it as I get full extension. So half a second, then come back. Half a second, come back. And once again, kinda touching and feeling up on the tricep to get that mind and muscle connection and let my body know that I'm activating the muscle. Or at least I'm working the muscle. Yo, I started failing. All right. Switch overhand. Grab. Woo! Bye, everybody! Okay, guys. I just made it back home. I may have picked up Wilderberger. <clears throat> yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna end this video right here. Um, I have to pack, so the next time you guys are going to see a video from me, I'm gonna be in Ohio. My first time going to the Arnold. But yeah, I have to eat, pack, and then watch the basketball, and then edit this video, and do all that good stuff, so I need to hurry up and do all that stuff right now. So if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, one goddamn minute. Wait. Hold on, wait a minute.